So the ETEC hybrid is really different to a normal heat pump. So with a full heat pump system, you generally have to have a heat pump cylinder um, and that requires having an airing cupboard or space to build an airing cupboard. Um, we also need to have a low temperature heating system, so it generally means increasing radiator sizes and pipe work sizes throughout the property. Because the ETEC hybrid still uses a gas combination boiler for all of its domestic hot water, we're still able to put it in a house that's got an existing combi without any real dramatic changes to the property. Um, it also can run at a higher flow temperature, so because we've still got the boiler there for the really cold days, we don't actually have to upgrade any of the existing system radiators or pipe work. So the ETEC hybrid uses customers' energy prices, so it looks at your gas price and your electricity price, and it will always choose the most economic solution at that point in time. So that will also future-proof the system. So if we're looking at energy bills possibly rising, maybe gas increasing, um, we can enter new tariffs into the system and the system will adapt and use the most economic choice. Yeah, so the ETEC hybrid on space heating has, has got a wicked output. So you've got 26 kilowatts of heating with your, with your gas boiler. You've also got another four kilowatts of heating with your heat pump. So it can do pretty large properties. The main limitation would be that it is paired with a gas combination boiler and that has an instantaneous hot water outlet. So if you're looking at running any more than two or three or four showers at once, it's not going to be suitable for the property. So its limitations really are sort of two, three, four bed houses with one, maybe an ensuite bathroom. So servicing and maintenance of the ETEC hybrid is still a gas boiler, so it still conforms with all of your usual gas safe um, servicing. So exactly the same as an installer would normally come around once a year to check the product over write you a gas safety certificate. We still have that process. We also have the additional bit of just having a look at the heat pump. But in general, heat pumps don't really require too much maintenance. Um, it's a general sort of clean of the appliance, have a check of the power cable, check the settings haven't been played around with, and that's it really.